Hi, today I'm going to talk about my grey roots and I started going grey in my early 40s. Um, I've never really gone particularly grey behind here, but from about here to here is nearly all grey and I probably have to do my roots about once every month, but once every month becomes quite expensive, so I've been looking around at other options and I found two really good products. So I'm going to show you how grey my hair is now, which is like that. So that is actually a week's growth, no, 10 days growth maybe. So it really, my hair grows quickly, which is good. But what happens is once it starts going grey, I feel it looks like I have a slightly receding forehead. So I've used for the last year, I always come to things quite late, this colour, wow. There you go. And I use medium brown. And it's very simple to apply. It comes with a little brush like this. It's very dirty, I use it a lot. And I just dab in, like that. And I just go to my root and I start coloring it in, like that. And immediately, the gray disappears. Um, I do under here, do you see that bit goes quite a bit. And the gray disappears. When you do your parting, it's quite good because my parting is a bit jangly. So if I look at my part like that, don't go right across. I sort of scrub round very haphazardly so that you don't see a big line on my root. So then if I part my hair in different places, I'm just gonna scrabble here. I call it scrabbling, totally wrong word, but mushing, mushing all the product together. I'll do a little bit here. And I really, um, I don't go easy on it. I just put as much as I feel I need in and then make sure at the front that the line is not hard. So at the front here, I really mush it all together like that. There, okay. And then take a damp cloth for bits where you might've mucked up your forehead and then sort of put it back. So now, I could have gone to the hairdresser, or well, I've just done it at home, so let's see, like that. No more grey. They have another three or four colours, so they, I think they have dark brown, medium brown, reddish colour, blonde and platinum. I sometimes use the blonde as well, so I'm going to show you the blonde, there's the blonde, um, it's like that. And occasionally, I mean I've got a nice highlight here, but if I feel my hair's looking a bit dull, I might shove in a highlight. So I just take this, I take a line, and I just paint it on, like that. And I just have another little highlight in my hair. And if I'm going to the hairdresser, this is a really good tip if you're going to a new hairdresser and you think, I know I want to do a few highlights. I don't want to have tiger lights, you know. So you could sort of always put some on before you go to the hairdresser. It's very controlling is what I do. I usually do them from underneath and just sort of say, this is where I'd like to have two or three highlights around my um, face so they don't overdo it or you come out looking like uh, tiger stripes. So that's one great product. I'll show you another one. Okay, this is the second good hair product for covering up grey roots. And this is by Oribe. Oh, Oribe, I don't even know how you pronounce him actually. Um, and it's called Dark Brown and it's a spray, okay? So you've got to be a bit more careful with your control. So I'm going to try and find a bit I haven't done. So there, okay? And go about that far away and just spray in. Oh, oh, wasn't that great? And you just kind of, it's got a nice smell, this one. It's a little bit sticky when it goes in your hair. So if you have quite flat hair, I think the, 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 this product is better because it gives your hair some texture. So I'm just gonna do the other side here. Hang on, see a bit. There. Spray it all away. So now have a little brush. Okay, and now I could have gone to the hairdresser, but instead I went to my bathroom and it cost me a tenth of the price. I think that both of these are in the 20s, but they last months. And in terms of the last little thing to say is, 
wash your hands after you've done it and be aware that if you're somebody who plays with your hair a lot, okay, you will get a slight brown mark. So if you're wearing white, be careful. This is an emergency situation. Um, but I usually kind of play with it a bit, mush it all in, then wash my hands and then don't really have so much residue coming out. The only thing to, to check is if you're going out with somebody you don't know very well and um, you get up in the morning, check your pillow. Okay, but anyway, thanks, bye.